portal here with Top 32 YCS New Jersey uh, Secaucus actually. Uh, what's up man, how are you? Hi, good. Good, good. Yep. Oh, uh, first off, nice play mat, man. Thanks. Very nice. So, what did you uh, place and what did you top with? Uh, I got top 32 uh, with Gokies and uh, I went, I got 16th place after Swiss and I went X2. X2? Yeah, I play against nine rounds of some Trickstar variants and in top cut I lost to uh, Pure Brandish. Oh, that's... Yeah. That's understandable. It's kind of top deck right now, but low key still work. You know? Yep. Uh, yeah, let's get into the spice, man. Uh, so for my hand traps, I played three Droll, three Ash, two Ghost Bell. I thought more people were going to play the Goki deck than I thought. Then uh, this card's really good against the Goki deck, as well as if you do play against the Branch deck, it's kind of just like uh, a soft stopper for the turn. Yeah. Uh, Ash is just the most generic all around good hand trap against like all the decks. Droll is really good against the Trickstar Brandish deck because it kind of just shuts them off the turn. They have uh, so many cards that search and search again. Like they have three Tower Forming, three Light Stage, three Candina, as well as uh, three Engage. They play Upstart, they play, uh, what's the last card? They play Desires as well. So it just like stops them from using all their uh, cards and just setting up. As well as it's really good against the Goki deck as well. I absolutely agree with you right there. Definitely lost that card. Then uh, three junk forward and three Marad Captain. I think it's really important to get uh, play a bunch of level threes that like have an additional summon just in case you need to make a invoker with a like a Ash or a Ghost Spell. Sometimes you would need to uh, oh, like special Marad, special one of those overlay for invoker go off. Uh, so you work very well with the hand traps. And uh, I don't like. Armageddon Knight because Armageddon Knight alone isn't like full combo so I'd rather like play these cards to make it full combo. Uh, Goki's three Suprax, two Twist Cobra, two Headbat, two Octo Stretch, one Bear Hug, one Scorpio. A lot of people are starting to cut this but it's really important for uh, the full combo that I do. Uh, I was going to cut a Headbat at the last minute but uh, there's just times where I just want the Headbat and it's not like the worst card to draw as well. Or if you get stopped the first turn, you'll have a second head bat to continue your play. Uh, the one Nibbly. For spells, I played one Divine Sword. And then for my other equip spell, I played Noble Arms Arfordurter. Uh This card is really good against the Brandish and Trickstar deck. Uh, basically, you just equip it to, say if you have like, Junk Forward and a Twist Cobra. You just equip it to one of them. Uh, reduce its uh, attack by 500, destroy a set card, then you make a soul day, and once you make a soul day, this card allows you to re-equip it onto a soul day, and you can use it to destroy another back row. So this card was really good for me. Uh, I even considered playing more than one after this weekend, after seeing how many people played the uh, Trickstar Branch deck as well as the brand, uh, Trickstar Sky Strike deck as well as the Sky Strike deck. Did you do any testing with the other equip spells, like maybe a Totemus Action unit? Um, I did look at it, but there's never a reason where I want my opponent's monsters unless I was playing the mirror match. Uh, I was also looking at just Moon Mirror Shield because if you did, do you just draw both? Like in one of the rounds, I drew both game one and game two, so I just instantly lost. Oh, man. Uh, I played two instant fusions. I didn't want to play three because I didn't want to draw more than one ever. And it works with, uh, it works with Invoker as well as just being a warrior. One Monster Reborn, two Goki Rematch, Soul Charge, just for Reborn cards. I played two Rematch just because if the first one gets belled, you can just search the second one in the combo. Or even if like they have a bunch of hand traps, you can only do like stuff like Goblin Phoenix. You'll have a Rematch for the next turn to just uh, help you like gain more resource. Uh, it's also not a bad card draw like mid-game. Uh, one Reinforcement Army. And one for one, I feel like one for one's the uh, one of the best extenders possible because it is a Goki monster. Uh, three call by the graves. Uh, I didn't get activate this card that many times. Probably like three times I got activate this card on a hand trap this past weekend. But it's just necessary to combo off. Then I mean two twin twister. This was a uh, Sala's idea. Twin twister is really good against the. Uh, it's really good against the branch deck as well as the Trickstar branch deck because you can just know where the Widow is, hit the Widow, or force out the Reincarnation. Like, you can like put combo on board, then like force out the Reincarnation if they have another back row. Like, Widow, you can pop it. Uh, yeah, it's just really good against both those decks. What's your deck count? Uh, 41 cards. The Headbat was technically the 41st, but I just couldn't like bring myself to cut it. Okay. 
Then I play two Assault A, one Dragonus because it's level three Fusion Warrior, one Invoker. I made this card more often this weekend than I've ever made. So I'm glad I didn't cut it or thinking about cutting it. Uh, one Link Rebo, one Mermaid, two Goblin, one Cerebus, one Phoenix, and one Underclock. Uh, you play Underclock because in one of the combos you need to link with uh, Ibli as well as uh, a Goki monster to make this before you make Trigate Wizard. And you want to end the board with all three of these on board. So I didn't really want to put in a second one. Uh, Underclock was just useful as well as if you get Reapered. It's just a generic link that points, uh, generic points link to that, yeah, yeah, points down. Uh, one Unicorn, one Trigate, one Firewall, and Warload. I didn't play Griffin because I didn't really like Griffin. You, anytime I made Griffin, it was just like not good enough or like I played the two rematch so I don't need the resource back. Uh, Borload also comes up because our deck doesn't have outs to Goblin Phoenix. So our only out is Borlo taking one of them and just attacking over the other. Uh, I did not play any mirror matches, so that didn't come up. Uh, I played two Ogre. This is for pure brandish as well as Goki, because hitting the firewall off Goki is good. Uh, hitting multi roll is just good enough. Uh, three Reaper. I inside this card in, at all this weekend. I I only play against Trickstars and Trickstar Brandish. Uh, uh, double Helix still inside. Two Gamma Seals is for pure brandish and I guess random decks. Um, didn't get size in because I went first game two in the uh, against the pure brandish deck. Uh, two red reboot. Uh, this card was just all right. I didn't play against all, any alter guys and not really, not that many trickstar players are playing a bunch of traps anymore. What do you think about uh, the combo with that and uh, Trisbania? Uh, pretty crazy. I think Trisbania is just a good card in general, especially since it's burn and you can go into time. Oh yeah. The what are your thoughts on the end of the match procedures? The new stuff. Uh, I decided to play. I was playing Star Strike, uh, Sky Striker, for a couple days. But then I decided to switch back to Goki just because I did not want to go in time and that mirror match goes in time like all the time. Oh, yeah. And I just didn't want to like end up losing time. I, I finished every single round with like at least 10 minutes to spare. That's good. Uh, I played one world legacy succession. This card's kind of just play through hand traps. You side in going first against the Trickstar, and, uh, Trickstar branch deck and regular branch deck. Uh, three evenly matched. This card's really good against uh, the Trickstar Brand Shack as well as Brandish. Then one pure order. Uh, I'll side this card going in, going first or second against pure Brandish. Just because it's even good drawing like turn three or four. Uh, shout out. Yeah, shouts to Jesse Cotton and Asala for playtesting with me. We've been playing Gokies for probably like four weeks. We've played it since like last format with like Masterpiece and everything. Uh, shout out to Team Jobber. Uh, shout out to check out uh, JRB Jobber's uh, channel. Yeah, and that's it. No problem.